36, so it's a very right age. Yeah. So you don't hear me, right? So that's the reason why I was asking you. So <laughs> and if you want to just uh, hear the introduction. So uh, uh, this is uh, me, Phil Asher, number 36 already, and it's organized by the School of Journalism at the University of Regina. Uh, my name is Gennady Chernov, and I'm uh, the department head of School of Journalism. Uh, on behalf of the School of Journalism, I'd like to thank you all for coming, and also I would like to uh, thank uh, the Minifi uh, family, which uh, supports uh, our course and supports this annual lecture, and also I would like to uh, thank uh, you know the Faculty of Arts and the University of Regina for support and understanding uh, you know the importance of our lecture. Uh, for 35 years, we invited uh, to deliver this lecture those journalists who worked in national broadcast and print outlets. These were the excellent folks uh, who represented what was the best in journalism of the day. However, this uh, year around, we made a decision to invite one of our own, a person who has been working in the province for decades. It's our acknowledgement of our own talents, of the importance of our issues, and it's a recognition of serious journalism uh, dealing with issues of public importance here in Saskatchewan. Uh, I'd like to invite, to invite my colleague, uh, the ASPER Chair, uh, Leon Zavarena, to introduce our guest tonight. Thank you, Dr. Chernow. Times are changing, aren't they? Uh, our school heads from Russia, I am from Guatemala, and for the first time we have an indigenous person speaking to you, which is for us, I think for us it's, a, it's an honor to have uh, Mr. Doug Cathan tonight. For me personally, it's quite an honor because since I came to Canada as a young student, uh, he was one of my heroes. And Soon after he became a household name in, 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 my, in my home. <coughs> Mr. Cathan is a member of the Little Pine First Nation. Uh, he's a distinguished, influential, and award winning journalist and filmmaker. He also has served his people in political, educational, and business capacities. His first hand knowledge of indigenous issues has made him a household name in Saskatchewan and beyond. His work has influenced generations of indigenous youth at home and abroad. From 1976 to 84, Mr. Cathan served as the first vice chief of the Federation of Saskatchewan Indians, now known as the Federation of the Sovereign Indigenous Nations. His portfolios in 76 included treaty land entitlement, health and social development, and in 82, he was the first chairperson of the Board of Directors for the Saskatchewan Indian Federated College, now the First Nations University of Canada. He was also part of the National Indigenous Lobby Group to have treaty rights included in the 1982 Canadian Constitution. Doug and Pauline have owned their own business, Blue Hills Productions, since 1988. Their work includes credits for writing, directing and producing documentaries, educational videos, and the multi-million dollar film, Big Bear. Doug has written a weekly column for the Regional Leader Post and the Saskatoon Star Phoenix since 1991, and now he was telling me that he broadcasts that every Friday, every Friday through the Miss Nippy Network. From 1994 to 98, he was the producer of the CTV's Indigenous Circle. Mr. Cathan is also the author of two books where actually you can read many of his columns. One is called Tapwe, or the truth in Cree, and Askiwina, a Cree word. Beginning in, 96, in 1976, Doug has won several prestigious awards for his writing and film productions, including awards for, from Unity Awards in the Media, the Saskatchewan Motion Picture Association, the Native American Journalist Association, nine, nine awards, just from that organization alone. From this speaker's festival, the Campro Awards, the National Association of Inuit and, Inuit and Inuit Indian Photographers, the American Indian Film Festival in San Francisco, and several other organizations. Actually, he asked me not to read all of them. 
<laughs> the multiple, multiple journalist awards given to Doug are an indication that honest, fact-based opinions, even if for some they are controversial, they are always needed. Especially when those opinions bring us the sentiments and experiences of people who have been subject of colonialism, neo-colonialism, internal barriers, and ongoing discrimination. His article on the late um, young Colton Bushy comes to mind. <coughs> Doug has written more than 1,200 columns. And the Film Awards recognize Doug's professionalism, dedication, and passion to tell indigenous people's stories long before indigenous issues became an industry or political lingo. Doug's articles are mostly about Canada's indigenous peoples, but he also has written about the plight of other peoples around the world, not necessarily indigenous. Finally, and before I, uh, I call Doug, I would like to give him a public thanks for an article he wrote in 2005. Similar to Hurricane Matthew's recent devastation of Haiti in, in, uh, uh, of this year, in October of 2005, Hurricane Stan hit southern Mexico and Central America. In my country alone, my country of Guatemala, the hurricane killed more than 1,000 people and, and affected 500,000 more, mostly my, my people, Mayan, Mayan indigenous. There was no coverage in the media. In the desperation to, need to do something for my family, friends, and, and my neighbors, I, I organized a, a local fundraiser with my wife and, and kids and, and some other friends. But we needed to, to do more. We, we, we were desperate to reach more people. And you, sir, Doug, you dedicated your October 31st, 2005, your column of that day, to shed light not just on such natural disaster, but also on how the wounds that a 36 year war left on my people, a war that turned into genocide. You encourage your readers to donate to the preferred disaster relief organization. And for that, Mr. Cathan, I remain thankful to this day. Basically, basically what I'm saying that is keep writing. <laughs> Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please join me to welcome Mr. Doug Cathan. 